And today I will be solving a College Board AP Chemistry Free Response question from the 2001 exam, question 3. Okay, the question starts off by telling you that you are answering questions about acetyl salicylic acid, which is the active ingredient in aspirin. Part 1 tells us that the amount of acetyl salicylic acid in a single aspirin tablet is 325 milligrams, yet the tablet has a mass of 2 grams. Calculate the mass percent of acetyl salicylic acid in the tablet. Alright, so this is just mass percent. It's part over a whole times 100 is going to give you your mass percent. Uh, the part in this case is the acid, 325 milligrams. We're going to convert that into grams. Right. So equals 0.325 grams is your part. It's given that the whole tablet is 2 grams. So we're just going to do 0.325 grams over 2 grams. It's going to be 16. We'll times that by 100. And that's going to be 16.2%. This is how much acid is in each tablet, percent-wise. Alright, so that's... Part A, pretty simple. Part B is the elements contained in acetyl salicylic acid are hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. The combustion of 3 grams of the pure compound yields 1.2 grams of water and 3.72 liters of dry carbon dioxide, measured at 750 millimeters mercury and 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate the mass in grams of each element in the 3 gram sample. Okay. So. Here we have combustion. We have a hydrocarbon that we do not know the formula of, plus oxygen, and that's going to give us CO2 and H2O. We already have the one. We're given we're going to be given a volume for this, and we are given a mass for this. So let's just start off by finding H, because in this part B we are solving for grams of H, grams of carbon and grams of oxygen out of the total 3 gram sample. Okay, so we're going to take that 1.2 grams of H2O and we are going to convert that into moles, 18 grams, 1 mole. That gives us 0 0.0666 moles of H2O. Um, because that there's two H's and one H2O, we can just say times that by two, and this is going to give us moles of just H. So we have 0 0.1332 moles of H. And we're just going to convert this to grams. That's going to give us 0 0.1332 grams of H. Okay, so we already did this. Now we're going to go on to carbon. They give us they give us 3.72 liters, and they also give us pressures, um, temperatures, stuff like that. So we are going to use PV NRT on this one. Um, first, we have to convert the pressure. It's given in millimeters of mercury. We have to convert that to ATM. Alright, so we have that, and that's going to equal 0.987 ATM. We also need to make our temperature, it was 25 Celsius, we have to add 273 to get to Kelvin, and that equals 298 Kelvin. So we're going to plug this all into here. We know the volume it was given is 3.72 liters of the carbon dioxide, so this is going to be moles of CO2 when we solve for it. We'll go on to the next page. N equals 0.987 ATM times this, all that over the constant R, and 298 Kelvin. And this is going to give us 0 0.150 moles of CO2. We need to get that to grams of C, so we're going to take it. 
uh, one mole of CO2. Uh, sorry, we have one mole of C, and then in one mole of C, we have 12 grams. So that's pretty simple. 1.8 grams. So this is of C. All we have left to find is oxygen. We can just take this is easy. We could just take the total sample, three grams. It's made up of the three elements, so we could just subtract the other two. And that'll just give us 1.07 grams of oxygen. So there, we found all the elements. That's the end of that one. Now on to part C. Don't need a new page yet. Part C. Um, students dissolve 1.625 grams of pure acetylsalicylic acid in distilled water and titrate the resulting solution to the equivalence point using 88.43 milliliters of 0.102 molar NaOH. Assuming that the acetylsalicylic acid has only one ionizable hydrogen, underline that. Calculate the molar mass of the acid. Okay. So we're going to do this one. Alright, underline that because that's going to be important, the one ionizable hydrogen. Okay, so at equivalence point, we have 88.43 88 milliliters of this NaOH. And just because there's one OH in there, we have 88.43 milliliters. Well, we have point... We're going to... Okay. We're going to convert this 1,000 milliliters, 1 liter. And at the same time, we're just going to say this is OH. We can just get rid of this as spectator. NA is spectator. We don't even need that. So we're just going to say that this is 0 0.08843 liters, we convert this to, of OH negative. So this is what has been, oh no. So this is the liters, and it tells us that Molarity is 0 0.102 moles per liter. So we're just going to times that. This is the molarity of this. And that's going to give us moles. 0 0.00902 moles. That's of OH. So this is the amount of moles of OH that we have added, we have titrated, we have used up. Um... Yeah, so we are titrating that into the acid. So when this goes into the acid, it's neutralizing the acid. So if we're saying that this is the amount used up, we can also say that the same amount has been neutralized in the acid because we are titrating this with this, and it's in the one-to-one -one ratio. And also, there's one ionizable hydrogen, which was said earlier. So we can assume that there's only one H in the whole formula of the acid. So this is just the whole acid. All right. So we have that. And we're given that it dissolve 1.625 grams. And molar mass is grams over moles. It's 1.625 grams over the 0 0.00902 moles, and that's going to give us 180 grams per mole of the acid. This is the answer. So, C's done. Now we're on to D, which has two parts. A 2.00 times 10 in the negative third mole sample of pure acetylsalicylic acid was dissolved in 15 milliliters of water and then titrated with 0.1 molar NaOH. The equivalence point was reached after 20 milliliters of the NaOH solution had been added. Using the data from the titration shown in the table, determine okay, the value of the acid dissociation constant Ka for the acid. Okay, so for this one... 
Um, by rule of thumb, we know that during titration such as this, uh, the pKa equals the pH halfway to the equivalence point. And equivalence point in this one is 20 milliliters. So halfway there, we're at 10 milliliters. So if we look on this chart over here, at 10 milliliters, the pH is 3.44. Okay? So pH equals 3.44. And that also means that the pKa equals 3.44. And since pKa equals negative log of the Ka, to find the Ka, we can just do 10 to the negative 3.44. And that's going to give us 3.6 times 10 to the negative 4. So we're done with I. This is done. Now we have to go the second part. Go on the back of here. Um, the pH of the solution after a total of 25 milliliters of the NaOH solution has been added. Assume that the volumes are additive. Okay. Volumes are additive, so right away... They're saying they're adding 25 milliliters of the NaOH. And we started with 15 milliliters of the acid. So right off the bat, this solution, this is a 40 milliliter solution. Let's just get that out of the way so we know that. Also, it says that this is after the equivalence point because the equivalence point was 20, and we're at 25. So... What's dictating the pH of this solution is these excess OH that's added. And it's an excess of 5 milliliters. So let's write that down. So, yeah, we're adding that in excess. So, 5 milliliters. Um, and we'll just convert that to mol uh, liters. Um, no, this is 0 0.005 liters. And it tells us that it is 0 0.1 molar NaOH, so we could just take this 0 0.1 moles over 1 liter. And that gives us 5 times 10 to the negative 4th. And this is going to be moles of NaOH. Um... And we could just, since it's one-on-one -on -one ratio, this is 5 times 10 to the negative fourth moles of OH. Okay, so we have the moles of OH. We should find the concentration of the OH so that we can just convert that straight to pOH and then convert that to pH. So, find concentration. We're just going to put this over this, which is the total solution. Moles over liters, molarity. It's concentration. So this is 0.04 liters. We're going to put this over 0.04 liters. And that's going to give us, what's that going to give us? 1.25 times 10 to the negative 2 molarity. And that's of the OH. So pOH equals negative log the concentration of OH. Concentration we just found, negative log, 1.25 times 10, negative 2, right? And that is going to give us 1.90, and pH equals 14 minus pOH equals 14 minus 1.9, and final answer, 12.10. So this is our final answer, the pH of the acid, and that's it. Okay, bye.